Hi guys, today I wanna to share with you one of my favorite tips in the kitchen. This is something that I use every single day. I've been doing it for a couple of years now and I really love it and I hope you will too. So a lot of us use these, you know, uh, disposable cleaning wipes to wipe up grime and grossness in the kitchen on your countertops and your stoves. Um, I usually try to save those for things like raw chicken juice and things that are really bad. For the everyday spills, I use reusable um, cleaning bags that I keep in a jar on my counter and they're easy to grab and just use all day long. So I'm going to teach you today how simple it is to make these and um, you're going to be astonished. It just takes a few minutes every week or two um, to put one of these together. So stay tuned. I hope you'll learn a lot and um, that you'll enjoy this tip. Okay, so hopefully you can see this. Um, I've got here a mason jar, a large uh, tight sealing jar, glass jar, and you want it to be glass because um, we're going to be using borax and borax over time can actually weaken plastic. So you don't want any leaks. So we're going to use a glass jar. It is important that you be able to close it and seal it tightly. Um, we also have here, this is Castile soap, and I like to use the kind that has lavender oil um, infused in it. I just think that it smells really good, and I like to have that. Um, then, as I said, we have some borax here, and um, some white wine vinegar here. And then I have a stack here of clean, uh, although some of them may look a little dingy, they are clean. Um, these are just inexpensive rags that I got from Walmart. I think they come nine to, you know, a pack of nine is $4. They're very inexpensive and they hold up pretty well um, over time. Um, and then I have a glass bowl here to mix all my stuff up in. So it's really easy. All you're gonna do, first you're gonna boil the kettle, which I have um, over on the other side of the kitchen um, ready to go. You're gonna boil, uh, you're gonna need at least three cups of water. Um, but first you're going to put into your glass bowl, you're gonna measure one tablespoon of borax. And what the borax does is it just kind of, um, it just kind of keeps the germs away um, because these rags, they're gonna be damp rags that are sealed up in a, a jar. So you wanna make sure that your jar is clean, that your rags are clean, but the borax is also gonna to help to just keep um, any kind of mold or anything away from that. And it gives just a little bit of extra cleaning power. And then um, I add two tablespoons of the Castile soap and it just smells really nice. And this uh, of course has lots of cleaning power in it too. One thing that you can do is you can use, um, they make Castile soap that has tea tree oil in it, which has a lot of really good um, antibacterial pro um, properties and uh, that that just gives you a little bit of an extra boost. Um, so then what I'm going to do is I'm going to add three cups of boiling water to this. Um, as you can see, I, I stirred it up and, and uh, got the borax and the soap mixed together. Um, I'm going to add three cups of the boiling water. So this can get a little bit messy, but this is my kettle, my trusty electric kettle that I couldn't live without. Um, and I just fill that up to the three cup mark. Then you just want to give that a stir so that you um, dissolve all the borax and everything gets nice and mixed up in there. Now you do want to do it in this order. If you add your vinegar first, it's going to make it all weird and clumpy. So that is the last thing that you do. You The last step is to pour in terms of making the solution. You're gonna pour, and I'm just guesstimating here, but about a cup of the vinegar in. And white distilled vinegar is amazing in terms of its cleaning properties. If you don't have a whole bunch on hand and you're not using it to clean things like mirrors and windows and everything on God's green earth, you're missing out on something, so get some of that. Okay, so as you can see, I cheated a little bit and I went ahead and I folded up half of my rags. This is five rags. And I just, you know, fold them in quarters and layer them down in here, stuff them down in. 
And now I'm going to cheat again. I'm gonna take this over to my sink and just pour this half of the solution over top. And then I need to do it in the sink because I always make a big giant mess and I would have it all over the place. So I'm gonna go do that and then I'll see you back here. Okay, so I've gone ahead and I've got half my rags and half my solution. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna just fold and stuff down in here the remaining rags. And um, my jar, if I stuff them in really good, sometimes I can get 12 uh, rags in here. Sometimes I can only get maybe 10 or 11, but um, the bottom line is you can get quite a few in here. So you just wanna stuff them all in and then you're gonna, hopefully I can do this without making too big of a mess now. You pour the remainder of your solution in and you just wanna make sure you get all those rags nice and wet. Okay, stuff it in, close it up, and voila. Um, I've got right here, this is my current rag. What I do is I use this, I make sure I rinse it in uh, warm water after each use, and it'll last me, usually it'll last the whole day, and then I change it the next day. So this will, this is gonna last you, you know, a good 10 to 12 days, unless, like I said, you've got a lot of extra grime that you're cleaning up. Okay, one last thing I wanted to share with you that I do to make my life a little easier is I made these little um, labels, and it basically has the recipe for the, um, for the solution here so that when I run out of rags, I don't have to fumble around and figure out how to make them and go look it up and everything. I've got it right here. I've got my empty jar and I could just refill it. And like I said, it just takes a few minutes. So, okay guys, so it's really just as simple as that. If you would like to try this yourself, um, you can find the recipe for the solution on my website. That's www.easypeasyliving.com. That's E-A-S-Y-P-E-A-S-Y -E -E living.com. And if you go to the Tips, Advice, and Resources page, you will find a wealth of information there um, on everything from green cleaning. I have this solution and other clean homemade cleaning solutions that I use all the time. And you can print out the labels there and use them on your own bottles and go for it. Um, there's also advice on organizing, menu planning. There's some really quick and simple recipes that you can throw together on a busy night. Um, I would just welcome any feedback that you have. If you try this, I would love to hear how it works out for you. Or if you have any tips or advice that you'd like to share, I would love to hear them too. You can always email me at Valerie at easypeasyliving.com. So I hope that you give this a try and have a great day. Keep it easy peasy.